Hey friends, I woke up this morning feeling a bit of heaviness, feeling the urgency to be praying. Do you know anyone who's suffering through COVID right now? I'm gonna guess you're gonna answer yes. In fact, some of you have family members who are in the hospital at this very moment. This morning on my Facebook feed, I read about a friend's mom who's been put on the vent. I heard about another friend's cousin who's been put on the vent. So much to be praying for, so many reasons to be worried but God does not want us to be worried. So for just a really quick moment, um, I'm gonna take some time to read some scripture. And I encourage you to, uh, throughout your day, if you are facing concerns and struggles and fears that you would hold scripture close to you. In fact, maybe it's not COVID, maybe it is something else. The reality is there's a lot going on in our country and our world right now. And um, it's affecting each of us very differently. In fact, before I get to the scripture, uh, a woman in my church yesterday, talked about the number of suicide attempts that she saw in the hospital this past week. Um, she's in the medical field. <sighs> There's a war. There's a war underway, fighting for our souls. And Satan is coming after us, trying to get us with, with, with medical issues and in our minds and in isolation and all of these things. And we need to stand firm on the Word of God. And so I just want to I just want to read some Bible passages to you because this is what I do in the midst of my crises. And I hope that it'll be a comfort for you as well. Isaiah 41 10. So do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 40, 29, he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Psalm 46, 1 through 3, God is our refuge and strength and ever have present help in trouble. If you need to, just say that over and over again. God is our rescue and strength. God is our rescue and strength. In fact, you could even mentally think about the burdens you're carrying. Think about the family members. Think about the struggles. Think about the anxiety. Think about the concerns and try and fizz in your mind, actually see yourself lifting those burdens and giving them to God who truly, truly wants to take them from you. Psalm 46, one through three, again, that's God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging, God is still our refuge and strength. 2 Thessalonians 3, 16, Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way the Lord be with you all. And one of my favorites, Psalm or Philippians 4, 6, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. What's on your mind right now? What are you struggling with? What are you concerned about? Maybe you're not struggling. Praise God, but you know someone else who is. Who can you be praying for right now? How can you be a positive encouragement to those around you? I really think that's important. I really think we need it. We've got the government situation happening right now. We've got troops in Washington, D.C. We're hearing more and more things about COVID. We hear things about the vaccine here at the TV at TV44, we've had our own struggles and difficulties this week when our own Michelle Brockert and her husband John were killed by a truck that ran into their house. And we are suffering from the loss of a very close friend. And so I want to remind you that if you are struggling, you can contact us. You can contact us through our Facebook page. You can call our prayer line, 419-339-3000. But write down these verses. Go back and watch this video again. And if needed, just write down the scripture passages Write out the verses, carry them with you so that you can read them, you can hold them close to you, you can have them with you at every moment. When you physically, mentally, and in your physical mind don't know what to do next, know that God does have a plan. Even if we can't seem like we can see it, God does have a plan. So join me as I'm going to pray right now and um, just want to say thank you for taking a little bit of time out of your day to uh, share these scripture verses with me. Heavenly Father, I thank you that despite every situation that appears to be dark and without, without an ability to turn it around, we know you can turn things around. 
Thank you, God, that you are the God of making impossible situations become possible. And thank you that in all things, we can trust you completely and fully to the absolute extent beyond anything our minds can even understand. And we live in a fallen world and there is difficulty and there's sadness and there is sin and there is death and there is destruction. But I am thankful, God, that you are there through it all and that you will continue to be with us through it all. Right now, Lord, I lift up individuals who are suffering from COVID. I lift up individuals who are family members who are suffering because they can't be there. I'm lifting up those who are struggling through isolation or in their minds or just fed up and can't do it any longer. And Lord, we also pray against the spirit of suicide. We pray against that in Jesus' name and ask that you would pull these individuals out who feel that there is no other way, that there's nothing else they can do bring life back into their into their minds and into their hearts. We thank you, Lord, that we can trust you in all things and in all ways. In Jesus' name we pray.